Okay, let's try to do question number 3. So, let's read the question. So, figure 3.1 shows an arrangement of resistors connected to a battery of EMF 6 volt. So, kita ada battery 6 volt. And the internal resistance adalah 0.5 ohm. Okay. So, calculate the total operator ataupun effective resistance. Okay. So, we have 3, 5, 10, 7. Okay. And then, we have R equals to 0.5 ohm. Okay, so how to calculate, how to simplify this circuit. Okay, so for me, Miss akan tengok flow of current dan apa perjalanan dia. So, current akan gerak daripada panjang, gerak sini, dia akan keluar. And then, dia akan jumpa tiga path kan. 1, 2, 3. So, what happened, Miss pun draw. 1, 2, 3. Okay, so this one, Miss ada jumpa tiga ohm. Okay, tiga ohm pada masa yang sama jumpa tujuh kan. Kalau straight tu. 7 ohm, ok and then tengah-tengah ni, miss jumpa 10 ohm ok, nampak eh, 10 ni, 10 and then the last one, jumpa 5 ohm ok, ok, and then what happen, yang path pertama ni, jumpa dengan path kedua ok, so path pertama this is path first, path second, and then they will meet here, ok, let's say lah meet here, ok, path kedua ni Okay, and then pas yang kedua yang satu yang bergabung ni teruskan perjalanan mereka and then mereka berjumpa dengan pas yang ketiga. So maksudnya tadi tu yang ni yang yang tu kan yang this point over here dia jumpa dia jalan terit dia jumpa pas yang ketiga. So this one dia jumpa pas yang ketiga which is this one lah. Sorry. Ha dia jumpa dekat sini. This one point ni ah mesti akan guna pen dia lah. Point ni adalah point ini ya okey. So, this is how you simplify this circle lah, okay. So, as you can see over here, you need to solve this two first, okay. So, tiga campur tujuh, kan sebab the series, okay. Remember, resistor in series. So, take a look at the list of uh, ni lah kan. Okay, but it doesn't give you in the list of equations. So, you have to remember eh. Kalau series, R total dia akan jadi hasil tambah. Kalau parallel, R total dia akan jadi 1 over eh. And so on. Okay, so this one disebabkan dia series kan. So, I'm going to combine this to become ten sahaja. So, this is ten, And then I can see that these two are in parallel because parallel maksudnya ada T junction antara mereka tu eh. So, maksudnya 1 over R, apa tu, uh, this one 10, 10, kalau mislabel kan. This is R1, this is R2, this is R3, this is R4, okay. So, 1, 2, so this one is will be, kalau miss combine kan, ataupun kamu boleh je buat, tak payah nak labeling pun tak apa. So, miss buat je lah, 1 over 1, 10, 1 over 1, 10. So, you get your R to be... I think you get 5, isn't it? 5 ohm. Okay, so what happened? Kamu akan dapat circuit kamu. Dah gabungkan yang ni, dapat 5 ohm. Okay, yang bawah ni pun. Okay, ni akan dapat. Yang bawah ni akan tinggal 5 ohm. Okay, so this one is parallel also because you can see the T junction. So, 1 over R equals to 1 over 5 plus 1 over 5. So, you get your R to be, I think, um, 2.5 ohm. And then, and then kita dapati circuit dia akan simplify jadi, jadi tinggal satu je lah iaitu R dia kat sini adalah 0.25 ohm. Lepas tu dekat dalam bateri ni ada internal resistance 0.5 ohm and mereka in series. So, kena tambahlah 0.5. So, dapat jawapan kamu 3.0 ohm. Okay. And then, alright, uh, so that is number one. So, number two, they minta the current through the battery, okay? The current through the battery, so how do I do this, okay? <coughs> so, uh, I think I'm going to use this formula. This one, isn't it? V equals to E minus IR, okay? So, V equals to E minus IR, okay? Because, um, okay? 
uh, we have our E kan, voltage, uh, battery adalah 6, current tak tahu berapa, okay, current tak tahu berapa, internal resistance adalah um, 0.5, okay, and then V pula equals to IR, okay, and then um, R pula, R total dia pula adalah 3 kan, equals to 6 minus 0.5 I, so this one I think you get 3.5 I equals to 6, so so 6 bahagi dengan um, oh I think I got it wrong, sorry sorry so R total, I sorry this one should be 0. Uh, 2.5 eh sebab resistor saja, resistor saja kan uh, internal resistor, internal resistor lah, resistor resistor lah eh, sorry so this one you should get I think um, 3 lah kan 3 I equals to 6 so your I will get 2 E, ok kalau kamu nak belajar guna formula lah macam tu kan, uh, but why uh, the concept behind this, uh, you can ask me personally if you forget lah. Kenapa kita uh, guna this equation eh. I mean, uh, yeah, kenapa kita guna equation. Kenapa kita tak guna V equals to IR sahaja kan. Uh, we cannot use that V equals to IR sahaja sebab R ni mengambil kira R yang ini sahaja kan. Uh, sedangkan kita kena consider juga R yang kat dalam bateri ni which is the internal resistance because it will affect the value of your current. So, you cannot use just use this formula. You have to include the factor of internal resistance lah sebab soalan ni ada internal resistance. Okay? Uh, so, that's why we use this formula lah. Okay?